uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I didn't know how to work anything because I don't do a lot of multiplayer stuff. He's actually been playing. He's been stuck playing squads the whole time. I don't think you said you didn't know how to change out of it. No, I don't because it always gets me in the squad. So it's like me and teams of four, which is actually not too bad because there I've won based on two teams and there's just like two of us left. And and the past few games because I'm only playing like an hour here and there today. I actually played a lot more because um, I have a day job. Uh, I've been shooting some people. You know, and I've actually I I've been averaging for every five games a kill. Okay. I'm no longer playing hide and seek with everybody and being usually I'm making it to like the last six people. And Wait, you sent me an image. Get, you got a victory royale. Oh. Yeah, I sent it that to you before. That's why I asked you. Uh, one second. That was my first one, and I don't. He know He sent me a excited. message of one of his achievements. Uh, just the fact that we got our victory royale. I just want to read it real quick because I remember I was I laughed out loud. When I, okay, I, where was it? Oh yeah. So he was giving me some updates on it, and I said, uh, and he killed. He says, nope, I can't kill anybody to save my life. My last game, I died in sixth place. He says, but I did make a wooden bridge from the house on Loot Island to the next island. And now he's getting two Ws, so. Now I'm getting, you know what? Everything's coming up G. I think that little session with you guys actually helped quite a bit. I learned how to, how to be a good support, uh, even if that means sacrificing myself. What does Joel Gaunt say? Joel Gaunt says he's gotten one solo win. Are you proud of me? Not really. I, I am. I, mean, I am, yeah. I've only had two, so I can't talk crap. I've only had squad wins. That is huge if you got a solo win. Okay, moving on. Um, but yeah, that's my thing. But yeah, check it us out on Twitch. It was actually quite a bit of fun. I was playing the Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff, so you can kind of hear it in the background. For Just setting half the mood. Of it. Yeah, you, it was, you weren't talking for half of it, though. No, it's true. Yeah. But I come in, and I think at like the 20-minute mark. Um, this was one I wanted to talk about last week, and we couldn't get to it. Um, because I think this week we only have like 45, 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the hardest genre, in your opinion, to make? Uh, in term, like it, movies, yeah, even TV. To but make I know good TV, of? Like good? To make, like, yeah, we're talking, oh. are we talking action adventure? Are we talking horror? Are we even talking horror. superhero movies? Are we talking thrillers? Like all sorts, sorts of stuff like that. Horror or comedy. Yours are horror or comedy? I'm going comedy um, for sure. And I think it's because... Um, comedy is a lot more subjective than horror. I think that a jump scare in horror will get 80% of the people if it's like a weird, scary face. Like, it wasn't really that scary. It? Like the movie? the movie. But the lady in the picture scared the crap out of me. And I had her image in my head sometimes, and I had to turn on some lights to get to my bedroom. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say comedy just because, yeah, comedy is really based on the person, so... yeah. I saw Blockers three times now. Three times already? Oh, it's oh, really... Man. I show my friends and my family and all that. It's funny. Like, I like it. I need to watch it. It is. Yeah, I will watch it again. I I've been, love I've been re-watching the MCU just because um, I can, and I've just kind of been bored, and I don't really want to start anything new. I, I'm, like, in a weird spot where I, just like, I don't want to... Oh, I just started watching Blue Mountain State again. Oh, you know what? I liked it. I like the first season. Second season got weird, and then that rise of Tad Thad Thad was uh, was just dumb. But then now I go back to it, and when I, I think I rewatched a couple episodes, and I think I just liked it the first time, and that was it. I'm gonna watch Westworld after I finish this, though. Yeah, I think the thing with Blue Mountain State, which goes to the comedy thing, um, that's even like more subjective because it's such bro humor, and I don't think same with horror, horror and comedies need to really elevate their game um joel gunn says a good rom-com to make a really solid one yeah they don't make very good ones anymore because i think ant-man and the wasp was supposed to be a rom-com and like they were they were looking at a romantic comedy type of thing uh obviously because of the wasp but the um, wasps yeah yeah you really need to put a disclaimer it's like i am italian i can say these things no no okay that's fine but yeah, um, I, if Nick was here, I'd be curious to get his opinion. Let us know what your opinions are out there in the world. And if you're on YouTube, just kind of put a comment. Like, what do you think the hardest genre is to make? Most people are going to say, uh, you're right there. I'm yawning. Not gonna pee. I was going to vote a few. Have you, had a, have you had a long day? Yeah. You had a really long day? Tell me about your day. No. Oh, okay. I'd that's rather a, not. I'm sorry. No, that's, that's, that's totally not. cool. I'm glad that uh, I waited to bring that subject for all of you.